everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! Now before I get into things, if you intend on dropping a comment like this, I highly suggest that you now and never talk to me or my son again. I must admit, I'm still kind of quaking over the reaction to my first wish haul. Never ever would I have expected that it would get so many views. So obviously you guys really like discount clothes. For those of you that didn't see it, here's what you missed. I asked my followers on Instagram to send me any items that they were thinking of buying from Wish, but they hadn't bought yet because it was either too cheap or it seemed too good to be true. I chose 22 of the items that people sent to me, bought all of them, and I filmed the first part of the video when the first, I think there was 12 or 13 items when they arrived. And the reason that I had to do the video in two parts was because it took, I think, three months for the stuff to get here. So the things that were in the first video, they arrived really, really quickly. But all this stuff that I'm about to show you, this took months to get here. People loved the first wish haul. Well, that was until this happened. Now before you join in on the hate on Alex for and pink movement, please take a moment to contemplate what you believe to be the exact age at which one must stop wearing the colour pink. Now take that age, multiply it by let's say, yeah, 10,000. And that is exactly how many f I do not give about your opinion. Clobug1234 has asked me to review Pushing. So, cute Pushing, fat cat, mermaid plush, stuffed doll, toys, kids, Christmas gifts. Okay, X underscore Kit B X would like me to have a look at the Halloween girl's lovely cat fox ears, long fur headband, anime cosplay party costume AMB. I'm not sure what an AMB is. We have up next Liv26 wants me to get a 2017 lovely 3D cartoon Rillakuma Bear Pokemon, Pikachu, lovely rabbit candy shape, rope chain, soft shockproof case cover for iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 6, 6S, 6 Plus. Well, I have a 7 Plus, so um, we're gonna go for that as the size, and we're gonna go for, now I think she sent me the Pikachu chewing on the Pocky, which is so cute, just, it's adorable, and it says there's only three left, oh my god, I'm gonna buy it, pink, I th I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, pink, right, okay, buy, $11, I don't even care, Whew. Only three left. I'm sure there's only three left, right? And the second thing Liv would like me to buy is this adorable creative milk box design pen, pencil case, makeup bag, toiletry, organizer pouch bag. Uh, let's go blue for this one because blue kind of seems legitimately like a milk bottle. Actually, no, what's the pink like? Oh, the pink is so cute. <gasps> Choices! Porque lo no estás. Let's get both. They're only two dollars, why not? I'm sorry, I'm not paying enough attention to my baby. Oh, I'm so sorry, just shh. You just, just relax. Um, Scarlet the Harlot, what else have we got? Am I a terrible person? Am I? Oh my God, this is so cute! Kawaii Rila Kuma, dress cute, bear embroidery Lolita overall hat. Wait, wait, so is it a hat or is it overalls? I think I think it's a hat attached to the overalls, but that is seriously cute. I am so excited about that. Hannah Elise would like me to get this is an anime Sailor Moon blanket, Kawaii fleece travel blanket. Well, there's four colors. I don't like the red. The purple's okay. Yellow. I don't really like that design, so I guess typical me, we're just gonna go with pink and there's only 17 left. Sure, let's go pink. Pishy Princess has sent me two. She wants me to try... <laughs> oh my god. 
mini electric facial pore blackhead cleanser skin cleaner face dirt suck up vacuum tool okay i think i do need that but this looks simultaneously interesting and extremely terrifying look at that nose <laughs> it looks like a strawberry i think that is a strawberry i think they photoshopped a strawberry onto her nose talk about clickbait what are the reviews archie where are you come here Lara says, item has great suction. No instructions, but it was pretty easy to figure out. Sandra looks good, haven't tried it yet. Why are you leaving your review, Sandra? God, Sandra, get your act together. Choose a color. Uh, blue. And the last item on my list is once again from Pishy Princess, and it is seven color, waterproof, long lasting, shining glitter, white gold eyeliner pen, liquid eyeliner makeup tools. Choose a colour. Well, they're $2 each, so shall we get a few? Okay, we'll, we'll get a green for Archie. Oh, giving me a kiss because I'm buying a green one. That's it, everybody. Now that you're all up to speed, let's get into the unboxing. The first couple of things that I'm going to open are things that I bought for myself, and then the rest of it is all the stuff that my followers suggested to me. So the first thing that I decided to buy was this. I got a silicon bra. Looks a little bit like a butterfly. I think Archie thinks that it's a bird. Look Archie, do you want to make friends? Now the reason that I decided to buy this is because, well first of all I've been seeing these bras all over Instagram, they kind of went viral, you know with the lace up thing, but also because whenever I buy these sticky bras they only last a couple of months and normally when I buy them they cost me about $30. I mean 30 bucks to be going through every couple of months for a new bra, totally not worth it. So this was free. Stay woke people because if it's free it's not actually free because you're still paying the shipping and they mark the shipping up So that it covers the cost of the item, but you think you're getting it for free So just be mindful of that stay woke. It's a tiny little bit crushed But the inside actually has kind of a whole bunch of little textured silicon Sticky pads, which is interesting. Oh Holy crap. This is so sticky. Oh My god my fingers Ugh. Okay, that's intense. I did not expect that. Oh god, wow. Crap, I think that they've just made this with super glue. <laughs> oh. Look, look. Okay, I have high hopes for this product. Well guys, we're off to a good start. This is amazing. I mean, it's not giving me any lift, but I don't really have any boobs to lift. It's very sticky. It's not falling off yet. We'll see how we go by the end of the video. We'll see if it actually falls off. But, you know, it's totally fine. It's funny, when I looked at the reviews, basically every single review said, looks good, haven't tried it yet, but seems great. Which really annoys me, I don't understand, why would you leave a review of a product if you haven't tried it yet? Okay, the next thing we're trying is a corset. I've never used a... I've never used a waist trainer before, so I'm really interested to see what this is like. Now this is another supposedly free item on the website. This is a medium. I'm fairly sure I didn't ask for a medium. I think I asked for a small, so that's not a good start. All right, I'm sorry I look a little bit weird right now, but this is without a doubt one of the most difficult things I've ever done up in my life. And I've bought jeans from Boohoo, so that's saying a lot. <laughs> There's just so many little eyelets that it took a very long time to do them up. And despite how difficult it was to do them up, I actually don't really feel like it's cinching me in at all. Now that could be because of the size. Um, sorry about this strange look. So it doesn't really feel like it's doing anything at all. It kind of feels extremely comfortable, funnily enough, but it's not really cinching me in. So you would either have to go a size smaller or maybe just don't bother. <laughs> in terms of expectation reality, Next up, I'm so excited about this. Oh my god. You guys have no idea how hyped I am. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> Before I start, I'm just going to show you the expectation and the reality. Do you see the problem? Do you see what I see? The print 
is backwards. Now that would be okay if there wasn't text on it, but there is writing. So it's meant to say Mario and Pikachu. I think it's got Miniochu, but it's, it's backwards. <laughs> also, the size, if you're gonna buy this, get like a hundred sizes up because I ordered a large, but this is most certainly not large. This looks like a small. Let's try it on. Off the sleeve, off the sleeve. Let go. Oh, it's very soft inside. Oh, okay, well, this is tiny. Okay, yes, Archie. Oh, look, guys, watch, ready? I untucked my hair, so don't be mad. No, don't at me this time, I untucked it. Here it is. It's way smaller than it's meant to be. But hey, I reckon this would look really, really cute if I tucked it into the skirt. I wouldn't normally wear a pink top and a pink skirt. <laughs> This is officially my favorite top ever. It's not very soft on the outside and it's not very stretchy. These little tiny armholes aren't making my arms fit very well. However, the inside is extremely soft. Probably one of the most comfortable things that I've actually ever touched to my skin. It's not made of the same fabric that I thought it would be based on the photos, but I'm not mad in the slightest because this was only $12 and it's got a Mario Pikachu on it and it's extremely comfortable. So I just find this really funny because this would have been perfect. It would have been absolutely perfect. And it's almost as though Wish said to themselves, this top, it's so good, it's so cheap, it's so cute and it's so soft. Now, we need to live up to our name, right? Our name is Wish. So let's make them wish that we'd done it right and let's stick it on backwards. Genius. Honestly, if Wish got this right and had the Pikachu facing the right way, this would probably be my favorite purchase of all time. Aside from you, aside from you. Yes, you're my favorite purchase of all time. It's, it's okay, yes. The top is amazing. And in terms of expectation reality, Before we get into the stuff that my followers asked me to buy, I have one more thing that I bought for myself. You're gonna help me. Are you gonna help me? Okay, well, you, you know what? Uh, you guys don't need me. You can just have Archie on camera and he can unbox the things and review them. Look, Archie, what's that? <gasps> How exciting. <laughs> You give your animal hundreds of dollars worth of toys and they don't play with them. You give them a piece of cardboard and they go nuts. Okay, well here's the socks with the little bows on the back. Uh, the first thing I'm noticing, the bows are glued on. I don't understand why they did that, why they didn't sew them on, but they were free, so I don't think I can complain. Okay, cute. They went on very, very easily. I'm very happy with them. For something that, oh wait, Hang on, I think the bow is meant to face the back. You know what, these would be perfect if the bow wasn't glued on. But aside from that, they're actually, they're very comfortable. The fabric that they made the fishnets out of is totally fine. It's not scratchy, it's very soft. And also, they have the little bit for the toes. So that means that your toes don't go sticking through, which is great. Now, expectation reality wise, All right, so that's everything that I bought for myself. So now let's get into the things that my followers asked me to buy. The first thing, I'm very excited about this. This is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. When I saw the pictures, I actually thought it was like a towel or something, but it's a proper blanket. Mate, you, you have to, Archie's obsessed with blankets. He just loves to chew on them. Well, it's huge, huge. Can you see? It's a Sailor Moon blanket! Now on the website, this is called an anime Sailor Moon blanket, kawaii fleece travel blanket, home office throw on sofa, summer soft aeroplane carpet. Aeroplane carpet. Me, you and I'm a famous YouTuber and I'm getting off my private jet. 
Quality wise, this is extremely soft. It's very, very fleecy. The stitching looks really good. There's no loose stitches anywhere. I kind of expected that there'd be loose stitches all over the place or that the Sailor Moon would look like Sailor Moon Moon. But you know what? It's actually beautiful. There were lots of different designs, but of course I picked the pink one. Expectation reality. I'm so happy with this. This is absolutely beautiful. It was only $25, so I think it's totally worth it. And Archie's in love, so I think we might just bundle this up and leave it there for him to entertain himself with for a minute. Wow, wow. Update on the bra. It's coming off at the edges, but it's very, very stuck to my boobs. But it is peeling away at the edges, so that could also be a size problem. Next up, we have these ears. Immediately, I can tell you, Expectation reality is not on point. So all this is, it's a metal headband and the ears are not stuck in any particular place, which I actually don't mind because you could have them down at the side or you could have them right up high. Does this mean I'm a qualified beauty guru now? Very, very soft. They, they don't really look like what I'd hoped that they would look like. Can't, sorry, you probably can't see them. Archie is like, are you a cat? I don't like cats. Meow, meow. Well, they're not digging into my head, which is nice. They fit me kind of loosely. I do have a big head though, and they're fitting very, very snug. Well, now that I'm officially qualified to be a beauty guru, Let's have a look at some makeup. Now, before I open this, I just want to have a serious word. Okay, yeah, let's just put that away. Last episode, I tried some lipstick from Wish and a few people voiced their concerns about using cosmetics from China. So I do want you guys to be aware that some Chinese cosmetics are unregulated, which means that they could potentially contain contaminants. I know that in countries like America, even if the makeup is made in China, it's come from a factory that's been, I think it's FDA approved. I could be wrong. Please let me know down below if you know a bit more about this than I do. But I think that it's important to just be mindful before you put on cosmetics from Wish that you should potentially check them on your skin to see if you react. Now, I have pretty good skin in terms of reacting to things. I don't really react to anything, or at least I haven't so far. Yes, that is my skin. <laughs> but I'm still gonna swatch these on my hand first. You've lost your shoulder privileges. No! So I'm gonna test these on my wrist and then I'm gonna open a few more things and then come back to this, just because I think it's important that you check on a patch of skin first before you put it directly on your face. Alrighty, now I got four colors. Which one do you like most? Which one? Tell me. Look, it's Archie Green. It's actually properly Archie Green. <laughs> Size wise, these are way bigger than I thought they were going to be. In the photos, they looked really small, a little bit like those little NYX ones, but these are huge. <laughs> Here, let me show you a close up. <laughs> yes, Archie, that's green. It is definitely green. Isn't that exciting? All right, I'm gonna swatch them now and we'll see how we go. Just put Archie away because I don't really want him trying to lick this. Oh, the applicator is like a little tiny brush. Oh, and the, the glitter is a little bit spread out. Now the thing with buying Chinese cosmetics, <laughs> at least from unregulated ah. factories, is that you actually have no idea what it is. For all I know, this could just be craft glitter and glue. That's 100% what it smells like. It smells exactly like glue. And the glitter, I'm pretty sure it's just glitter, like craft glitter. <laughs> so I think if financially, if you can afford to pay for NYX or something like that, just buy that. Don't get this from Wish. I mean, these were free. Ow. Even though they were free, the shipping cost, I don't know, $3 or $2 or something like that. So because I got a couple of them, I did have to pay shipping for each one, despite the fact that they came in the same package. So they actually still got their money. If it was just pay shipping and you only pay shipping on one item, that'd make sense. But I did pay shipping on all of these. So if it was $3 per item, I've paid 
$12 to get these here. So they weren't free. <laughs> So for $12, you could just go to Target and buy some NYX eyeliner glitter. So I would not recommend these. Expectation reality on this. Next up, I have something that I'm terrified of. I'm absolutely terrified of this. What is it? What is it? What is it? Do you know what this is? This is... A pore cleaner. It says a suit for cleaning skin. One double A battery. Oh, not include. It says not include. Ah. Well, I'll have to find a double A battery. Oh, she is very wary of this strange object. What's under there? What's in here? Show me. Now, it doesn't really have instructions. It just says powerful suction out the blocked before suck the cooten sebum. Both share by oval suction cup and T suction cup. The oval suction cup is used for clean pores and the T suction cup is used for massage and shap V face. I was trying to read that. Please read the instruction manual before use. There is an instruction manual! I was about to make a sassy comment about there being no instructions, but there is an instru- wow! And it's all in English. Uh, operating instructions, pore cleanser. Please read this instruction manual before usage. So, uh, insert the battery, turn it on and off with your thumb. Alright, well, I guess I don't need instructions. It seems pretty straightforward. I'm very wary of electronics from Wish because the first time I bought an electronic item from Wish, it exploded and smoke went everywhere. Wait a sec. Oh my god, did I just break it? No, no, it's, it's fine. Alright, let's go try and find a battery. Look guys, how cute are these? I bought this from Miniso. Well, it doesn't actually show which way is plus and which way is minus. Well, that's promising. Okay, we're in. I don't know if the battery is facing the right. <gasps> that had no sucking power at all. Um, maybe it's because the battery is facing the wrong way. Let's flip it around the other way and see what happens. There's no on and off button. It's just a matter of sliding the battery in and out. Oh, well, it won't hang off my nose. So obviously the suction power is just not strong enough. <laughs> All right, well, that one's a total write off. That's nowhere near as scary as I thought it would be. And it doesn't do anything at all. So don't bother with that. Expectation reality for this one. Next up, we have these pencil cases. Oh, what's this? Download Tears app, design your own t-shirts. Design custom t-shirts for all life events. Uh, chucking some advertising in there, as if Wish doesn't advertise enough. <laughs> I couldn't pick what color I wanted, so I got both. And that's probably the reason that I'm broke AF. They're about the size that I thought they'd be, so expectation reality seems pretty on point. So much packaging. All right, well, they're a little tiny bit squashed, but that doesn't matter. You know what? These are actually made really nicely. It's not plastic, it's some sort of fabric. They're very, very cute. The, I like the blue one. I think the blue one is really good. The pink one is very cute as well. When I was in school, I absolutely went nuts for Asian stationery. Literally every single piece of stationery I owned was Asian stationery. Now, if you're in school and you're a little bit like me, you might want to grab these. They're free right now on Wish. I just paid shipping and I think shipping was two or three dollars. So six dollars for something as cute as that. Yeah, that's, that's totally fine. I love them. It's funny, the fact that these are so cheap, they're literally free, 
makes me really wonder about the cost of labor in China. I can't help but think if they can sell this so cheap, how much are they paying the people that are making them? Something to be mindful of. And I don't really know what else to say because I'm a bit awkward and I'm not really sure, but I will research. Next up, this is going to be controversial, I'm sure. Those of you that have been following me on Instagram for a while might remember pushing gate 2017. <laughs> Basically, I made a post about if you can't afford to pay 30 bucks for a mug with pushing on it, you can buy them from AliExpress. And then I got absolutely roasted by some people telling me that I shouldn't be promoting buying fakes or knockoff items. Now, everything that I own that is pushing related is a real pushing product. Like, they're from Pushing Corp and I buy them from licensed places. This is the first time I've bought something that's not a licensed pushing product. This was free, I'm pretty sure, on the website, but I bought it because one of my followers sent it to me as a suggestion and there's plenty of people out there that want cute products, but they don't want to have to pay the huge marker that they sell them for in stores. So I'm not going to judge anyone that wants to buy a knockoff product, but you do also, again, have to be mindful of the fact that this is someone else's artwork, which Wish has just blatantly ripped off and made a product based on that person's artwork. But hey, like each to their own. I bought this to review it for someone that really wanted it. So don't roast me for buying a knockoff. <laughs> on the website, this is called Pushing Fat Cat. All right, Pushing, I don't think you're fat. I just think you're cute. You're thick. You're thick, Pushing. Well, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a tiny, tiny little thing, but it's heaps bigger. <laughs> it's got a Pushing tag on it. Don't be fooled. Just because it's got a tag with Pushing doesn't mean that it's real Pushing. It's got a sticky thing, so you can stick it on stuff. I might stick it on the window. It's very soft. It doesn't smell at all. Expectation reality? Machine's just permanently on the computer now. Next up, we should have the Rilakkuma set, but unfortunately it never turned up. They did refund me, which is good, but that's one of the problems with Wish. I mean, if you buy 20 things, you can expect that a few of them aren't going to arrive. So this one, when I contacted them, they came back and said that it probably got lost in transit. So they gave me a refund and then they told me that if it arrives, I can keep it. So, I mean, it's been a couple of months now and it still hasn't come, so I don't think it's ever going to come but it was nice of them that they refunded me immediately. It's funny, you would think that a company like Wish wouldn't have very good customer service, but I've actually found that their customer service is fantastic. I've had, ow! I've had a few items that haven't come and I've just contacted them, they've refunded me immediately. They've messaged me back within like, 10 hours, so I've been really, really impressed with that. I mean, those of you that saw the pretty little thing haul of mine would know that that was some terrible customer service, and that's a reputable site. So I'm really pleased with the customer service from Wish, but it does suck that the stuff didn't come. So the Rilakkuma set didn't turn up, and the Pikachu phone case didn't turn up either. I bought that one the first time. Within a couple of days, they refunded me because they said it was out of stock. So I went and found it again on a different listing, bought that one, Two months later, it still hadn't turned up, so I contacted them and said, the phone case hasn't come yet, and they were like, oh, well, sorry, we'll give you a refund. I actually looked into making both of these things. If I had tried to make a real Akuma set, the amount of fabric that I would have needed, and the fact that I don't actually know how to sew to save my life, so I would have had to have asked Sam to do it, so also to pay him for his time, it would have probably cost me like 50 bucks to make that. And the phone case, I looked at a couple of websites like Caseify and a few others where you can make custom phone cases. And I even did up a little design for myself to try and print it, but it was going to cost me about 50 or $60 to custom make that phone case. So unfortunately, I don't have those two items. I guess the last thing that we can do is look back at this eyeliner. It's not rubbing off, it's Still very tacky and sticky though. The green one definitely has the best coverage out of all of them. The holographic sort of silver one, sorry, it's not hollow, it's iridescent. I'm sorry, Christine, don't come for me. The pink one's very, very pretty and the purple one is too. I'm just 
the tiniest bit hesitant about actually using it on my eyes because of how much it smells like glue. It smells, I mean, I did my nails recently with super glue and it smells exactly the same. Oh, it's not coming off at all if I rub it. It's not coming off at all. So I'm just a little tiny bit questionable about that. You can probably guess just by looking at it what it would look like if you actually used it on your eyes. And I think that it would be pretty good, but I'm not gonna recommend that you go out and buy this off Wish just because it's free, cause you'll have to pay shipping and you could just get something from NYX or ELF or Wet n Wild or one of those other sort of cheaper brands and I'm sure that it would be just as good or better. My takeaway thoughts from today. The sticky bra has completely peeled off around the edges. Like I can sort of tuck my fingers underneath it. Could be a sizing problem or it could be something to do with the make of it. But I actually think that this is great considering this was free. Anytime that you scroll through Wish, you're probably gonna find one of these sticky bras for free and you'll only have to pay a couple of dollars for it. No idea how they make it sticky. Could just be, oh no. Sorry, I just had to remove that screensaver so you can see the bird stays. That is the, the catchphrase of this channel now, because if anyone tries to come for Archie and tell me that he shouldn't be in the video, you go, he stays. That's the motto here. Understand it? I live by it. Goodbye. The waist trainer, which I still have on underneath this, could be a size problem. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend that one, although it was free, but it seems like a little bit of a waste of time because I ordered a small, but they gave me a medium, so you don't really know what you're gonna get, so um, probably a no there. This top, I'm dead. I'm actually dead, I love it. I wish it wasn't backwards. I wish, I wish it wasn't backwards, yeah. But it's adorable, and I think I'm gonna wear this all the time in Japan. I'm going to Japan in three weeks, guys. I have a whole bunch of travel vlogs planned. I'm going to the Fox Village, I'm going to the Rabbit Island, I'm going to Harajuku, of course, the Pokemon Center, the Sanrio Gift Gate. I'm going to a lot of places. I'm hoping that Daniel's going to propose to me when we're there. <laughs> I'll keep you updated on that. But we met in Japan and he was really, really keen for this trip, which is unlike him because he's normally keen on saving money. So I have a good feeling. Embarrassing for me if he doesn't, but you guys will see in my vlogs if he does. If there's anywhere in Japan that you want me to go, that you've seen and you're like, can you please go to this place and tell me what it's like? Just drop a comment down below. But I do have a huge itinerary planned. We're even going to the Pastel Wisteria Garden. I'm going to die. I will be in Pastel Wonderland and I'm so excited. Uh, back to the products. The socks, very, very cute, free. Can't go wrong there. Wish it was sewn on. If it falls off, you can probably sew it on yourself. The Sailor Moon blanket, probably the best thing of all. Totally worth $25, absolutely adorable. Feels very soft, feels very warm. The ears, look, it's, it's not bad. I actually wouldn't mind even taking, ah, yes, I'm a genius. Take that off, put some hair clips in it, and then you could just clip them to your hair. Do a little DIY for you. I'm not a DIY channel, so I can't really help you out there. Oh, what have I done? I ruined it. Oh, crap. Oh no, what have I, oh no. Oh, I have stuffed that up, I have to fix that. The glitter, you heard my thoughts on that. I think you can just buy from a reputable brand. I'm not reacting to it. It's been maybe like half an hour or so and my skin isn't itchy or anything, but I'm not really sure if I should try it. Like what, what would you guys do? What do you think? Do you, do you want me to put this on my face? Just drop a comment below. I'll try it and I'll put a picture on Instagram if you guys want me to try it on my face. But if you're happy with the hand swatch, then great. The blackhead thing. That's the fail of the century. Pencil cases, adorable. Where did Archie? <laughs> there he is. The pushing. A lady sent me a message on Instagram the other day and she said to me, have you ever bought a pushing product from Wish? Because my daughter loves pushing, so I'd really like to buy some. So look, what I would say to you, it looks just like pushing. If you don't want to spend that amount of money on the real thing, be mindful of the fact that you are funding someone which has ripped off the idea from the original artist. There's a big scandal going on with Lazy Oaf at the moment. Uh, there's an artist on Instagram, can't remember her name, I'll put it here. She came out with that design a couple of years ago and then Lazy Oaf released this collection and there's a really big blow up at the moment where people are furious and they're boycotting Lazy Oaf for ripping off her design. So just be mindful of that. Same goes for Pusheen. Pusheen was designed by an artist. So if you'd like to fund the original artist, then I would recommend buying from a licensed vendor. But I'm not telling you that you have to spend $40 on a real Pusheen toy when you can buy it from Wish, but really, it's at your own discretion. So it'd be interesting to see some comments down below to see what you guys think about buying real items versus buying fake items. I'm really interested to see what people think about this because 
Like I said, I got roasted on Instagram for suggesting that people, ow, what? Archie doesn't believe in it. I got roasted on Instagram for suggesting that people can buy stuff on AliExpress if they can't afford the real thing. So I would really like to see some constructive feedback down below. Don't go having a rage or a yell, just have some nice civilized conversation and tell me what you think. Let me know your thoughts below. Tell me what your favorite items were or what you didn't like. I have a whole bunch of other videos coming out. I have three other wish hauls coming up. I have a massive AliExpress haul too. Misguided as well. I just placed a really large order at Misguided. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. You can find us over on Instagram. My Instagram is pretty pastel, please. There's a lot of uh, good quality Archie content on my Instagram stories. So don't forget to check those out. And also you can stay up to date for when I do your weeby. So your weeby is you wanted it, I bought it. So that's a little series that I'm starting up. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be the first people that'll see when I suggest that I'm gonna buy stuff from a place and I'll ask you for your suggestions. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.